Before we can explain why transition metal complexes are coloured, we need to know a little bit about d orbitals. And in the d sublevel of an atom, there are five d orbitals with equal energy that look something like this. You don't need to know how to draw or describe the shapes in IB chemistry, but it's useful to have a general idea for reasons we'll see in a minute. If I were to take an atom or an ion in isolation, we'd find that each of those d orbitals has exactly the same energy, so I could draw it on an orbital box diagram, something like this. And in this example, I've drawn the 3D sublevel because that's the one we tend to focus on in IB chemistry. When transition metal ions form complex ions in solutions, they are no longer in isolation. And when ligands approach the metal ion, their lone pair of electrons interact with the d orbitals causing the orbitals to increase in energy. And this increase in energy occurs because of the repulsion between the lone pair of electrons and electrons in the 3D sublevel. Of course, in my box diagram on the right, we've not drawn any electrons yet, but that will come in a moment. So let's redraw the 3D orbitals after they've increased in energy. You'll notice here in the diagram that I've actually no longer drawn all of the D orbitals at the same energy two are slightly higher and three are slightly lower. Let's have a look at the shape of our d orbitals again to try and explain why this might happen. If we take the example of six ligands approaching my central ion along the x, y and z axis, you'll notice that two of the d orbitals are actually oriented along the axis. And this means that there'll be more interaction between those particular d orbitals and the lone pair on the ligands compared to the other three, which are highlighted in green. In these three d orbitals, you'll notice that they're actually oriented in the gaps between the axes, so would have less interaction with the lone pair on the ligand. And this leads to the phenomenon of d orbital splitting, as we've shown on the right-hand side. Now, there are many different ways that d orbitals can split, but for IB chemistry, we're gonna focus just on this example, where two d orbitals or of a slightly higher energy than the other three. To understand why d orbital splitting causes transition metal complexes to be coloured, let's take an example. The copper 2 plus ion would have 9d electrons. So in the original 3d sublevel, my electrons would be put in the boxes like this. And after d orbital splitting has occurred, I need to fill the lower energy d orbitals first and then the higher energy ones, so the electrons would be put in the boxes something like this. Given that transition metals by definition have an incomplete d sublevel, there's always going to be space in one of the higher d orbitals where an electron can absorb energy and jump to. As it happens, the amount of energy absorbed by an electron transition into a higher energy d orbital corresponds to the visible light spectrum. The specific wavelength of light absorbed depends on the size of the gap, and this can be affected by a range of factors talked about in another video. In our example of copper 2 plus ions forming complex ions with water ligands, we find that the electron transition absorbs red light in the visible part of the spectrum. And if that process absorbs red light, the color we see in the solution will be the complementary color to red. And the complementary color is just simply the color on the opposite side of the color wheel. So in this case, the blue-green color. Which is if, why if I look at that solution, it looks something like this. Now, of course, if the small energy gap between the d orbitals that have been split changes, the colour absorbed by electron transitions will change and therefore the complementary colour will also change. Let's now see if we can highlight the key points that might be required in an exam question. So if you were asked to explain why transition metal complexes are coloured, it's useful to state first of all that transition metal ions has an, have an incomplete d sublevel. During the formation of the complex ion, ligands interact with the d orbitals, causing splitting. 
And once that splitting has occurred, d electrons can absorb a specific wavelength of visible light and jump up to a higher energy d orbital. And the resulting colour of the solution is the complementary colour of the wavelength of light absorbed. So as you can see in this example here, if the transition of the electron absorbs violet light, then the complementary colour will be green, so the solution will appear green. For more information on the various factors that affect d orbital splitting, you'll want to check out one of the other videos. Hopefully, this video is of some help.